brain tech here where tech is made simple so recently microsoft held their microsoft surface event as many of you may know and at the uh, surface event microsoft has announced some new features improvements and apps uh, that we will see um, being made available for windows 11 in the near future so i thought in this video we could just collate a couple of these new features and just to, that's just to keep you up to speed and up to date as to um, those improvements and features and apps some of those that will be rolling out to windows in the near future now um a couple of weeks ago as i did post on microsoft um, made a new updated photos app available to windows 11 insiders and i'll leave a link in the description to that video as it will just give you a little bit more info but um, on the 12th of october um, at the surface event and also over on the insider blogs page and Microsoft has now announced that the updated Photos app, which started rolling out a couple of weeks ago, will now be getting iCloud Photos integration directly in the updated Photos app. And this iCloud Photos integration uh, in the app was made available um, to insiders in the Dev channel on the 12th of October. Now, Microsoft says that with this update, you'll now be able to add and access your iCloud Photos directly from within the photos app and your iCloud photos will appear alongside photos from other sources in the all photos gallery view as well as on a dedicated page you can access from the um, the side navigation pa pane as we can see in the screenshot and um, Microsoft has mentioned that this iCloud support uh, in the photos app will be made available to all users sometime in November but although they have mentioned November they haven't given us an exact date, but just wanted to let you know, iCloud Photos integration now um, made available in the updated Photos app. And then uh, the next one is regarding the snipping tool. And um, this is just a screen grab taken from a part of one of the videos that was shown at that Surface event where, yeah, we can see uh, the snipping tool now can be used as a screen recorder and not just as a screen capture utility. And this has actually been a feature that a lot of Windows users have been have been asking Microsoft to make available. And it looks like finally Microsoft is listening and will be rolling this out in the future, although they haven't given us an exact date when the updated snipping tool with the screen recorder will be made available. Um, and uh, obviously this will eliminate the need for third party software to uh, capture your, your screen and record your screen. And I personally think this is a nice new development giving the snipping tool the the option to obviously capture screenshots and then be an actual screen recorder so i think that's a nice new development and then um, just to make mention of the final two improvements which will be coming um to um, windows 11 uh, in the near future and that's apple tv and apple music will be rolling out next year and microsoft has confirmed this and a preview version they say of the apps the Apple TV and Apple Music apps will be released um, on the Microsoft Store later this year. And the stable version of the two apps, that's the Apple TV and Apple Music apps, will be available next year. And that's next year in 2023. And once again, they haven't given us an exact date, but Apple TV and Apple Music apps will be coming um, to the Microsoft Store for you to download um, sometime next year in 2023. So that's just a quick video just to keep you up to date as to some of the new features, improvements, and apps that will be rolling out for Windows 11 in the near future. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.